Hey everyone, Adia Sherelle here. I am done with my passion twist. And let me just tell you, I'm in love. The love is real. I am just feeling this hairstyle. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? And I know you guys will too. That's why I did this tutorial for you all. So let's get into the details. Okay, so I use the expressions water wave hair. I really enjoyed using this hair. It was tangle free. This is the packaging. So you know what it looks like when you go to purchase or from either online. I got mine from a local beauty supply store called Wild Beauty Supply in Van Nuys. You could probably get this done in 16. <laughs> Each roll took about 15 minutes. But I already know I'm a I'm 4C, my hair type, if we are hair typing. I have 4C texture. So with that, this probably won't last as long as the spring nice. twist. Any questions? Um, or you could just leave some comments. I'll appreciate that as well. And stay tuned for the next hairstyle. Let's get into this tutorial. I started with blow dried hair. I used extreme gel and pomade. The Ebon um, Edge Tamer, 24 hour <laughs> to be exact. Works. Here I'm giving you all a view of the size of the parts. I'm gonna be taking whoop, two strands from the pack. And then I am going to detangle. Simple process. You want to rake your fingers through the hair. About this amount of gel. There we go. A little bit of pomade. About that much. <laughs> well, hello. Hi there. there. You know, got it all set up. Yeah. Looks like, <laughs> looks like it's daylight. Right, I know. Natural daylight. <laughs> Natural I start my twist off with a braid. Um, this hair is very different in texture and can be quite slippery. So it's best to just start off with a braid. This way you know that it's secure and it won't slip. Okay, so I did the braid. So what you want to do is twist. Uh, so your left hand is going into the right. That's the direction you want to twist in, okay? And the last style I did before this one, um, I did Senegalese twist. And with, that, with Senegalese twist, you twirl the hair at before you overlap it. This, you just simply want to overlap as you twist down. And I'll come a little closer so you all can see. Just like that. And once you start getting to the end of the twist, you see I have all this hair. I want to like cut down on an angle like that. Okay, so I could get a nice curl on the end. It won't be that chunky, just cut off. You'll see what I'm saying. Let me demonstrate. You'll have like this nice little curly cue right there. Here is a visual of the sizing and the length. On to row two. And again, these are pretty chunky, so feel free to have really wide spaces. Last braid in the row. You know, whenever you get to that last braid of the row, it's like a small win, you know? It keeps you going. Okay, so now I am going to start with the front. Let me put on my spectacles. Oh no, let's keep those up. Let those stay there. Let's see how this bad boy works. Let's get a close up here. Well, well looky here. Okay, <laughs> honey, we'll get you all laid. Okay, Eben or Eben, they not playing. And they not lying. Well, I don't, we'll see. For 24 hours, we'll see. 
you want to grab the middle piece. So I have the other side of the synthetic hair and then um, on this hand and then the other in this hand and I'm gripping the middle. So what I like to do is come in, slice through that hair in the middle, grip the other side and start the braid. Your right hand goes over to meet the left hand. And to make sure that you're twisting the right way, just go ahead and like let it go. And if it looks like that, you're in business. You're doing a good job. You are doing a good job. If I would recommend adding just a little bit, right where your hair ends, adding a little pomade gel. It's the best, whatever product you prefer. That's what I would use, right on the ends. I tend not to put a lot of product down the shaft of my strands um, because I still want to be able to moisturize it. I don't want too much wax buildup to be on top when I go to spray it down and, you know, add my oils. I want it to still penetrate. And I am doing these fairly large. Um, it's the look that I want to go for. And two, I don't want to be here all day. Um, I just did Senegalese twists and it took forever. It really did take forever. It made me question a lot. Is it worth it? Should I be doing this? Why did I even start? But it was worth it. I love that style. It was very cute. <laughs> and I wore it for about... I think seven weeks. I wanted to wear them longer, but um, I never got around to redoing my edges and it looks absolutely crazy. It looks like an Afro, a little uh, TWA, and then um, Senegalese twist coming from that. So um, it was time to let it go. Roll it around. There it is. Bam. Let me stand up just so you guys can see the length that it came out to be. Let me see. I was sitting down here. Okay. So this is the full look. I hope you guys could see. Yeah. Oh, that is everything. Oh, and another thing. Please make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to be coming to you with more hair videos, you know, getting you right, getting you in your protective styles, helping you grow out your hair, all of that good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I want to keep you informed, give you all the things, the tidbits that you need to know. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.